The internet's rife with creative nerd passion. From steampunk fan art to Lolita fashion, they come from all places. Hard to tell where they start, with let's plays, web comics, and stop motion art. We can pine all day for a successful Kickstarter. We've all got a project, just gotta try harder. Some folks will get lucky, and attention will spiral. You make the front page, you're suddenly viral. It pays to display, all clicking's contagious. You dream of joining their ranks, of becoming internet famous. What you craft out of love could very well sell. You'll watch as your wallet and ego both swell. So draft away, test run, have that perfect release. But don't quit your day job or sign any lease. Be sharp, be edgy, be current, pay attention, and maybe someday your work will be mentioned. Those first few clicks validate your skills and humor. You'll spread like wildfire. You'll spread like a tumor. You'll juggle. You'll struggle. It's far from painless. But you'll milk it while claiming you're internet famous. So you've built up some views, been a blast on podcasts, met kindred spirits whose attention spans last. Now burn no bridges, produce all while you can. Try guesting at cons, befriend every band. Boast your merch from your perch, and your new friends will sing and brag to their loved ones, he's the guy from the thing! Someone cosplays your work, a child hands you a gift, and even with writer's block your spirit will lift. You'll hover on cloud nine while your schedule is heinous, and you'll run yourself ragged to stay internet famous. So contact your community, constantly create, Connect with your crowd and please communicate. They'll want your attention. They'll seek out your praise. Some claim you're a god. Some say, nah, just a phase. Some critics can censor and critically undress you. Life cancels one update by chance and watch fans turn against you. The trolls take their toll like any affair. They'll blame you, they'll shame you, and they don't even care. They'll whine like they've knives shoved up their anus. And they'll hunt you full time, since you're only internet famous. You're repeating yourself, but you used to win. Now you're just a trope, contributing to that awful din. Weekdays at work quickly start draining. Weekends at cons leave your energy waning. It used to be fun. You had spunk and a mission. Now even your fellow creators are just competition. A garage full of t-shirts. Was that all a mistake? That shine in a fan's eye. That wasn't faked. At least you tried. No one can blame us. We all deserve a shot to be internet famous.